So I am elevating my feet. My friend Emma <laughs> told me about it. She said, it's good to elevate your feet for 10 minutes every night before bed. I think she's right too, especially, you know, because of my broken ankle, which is now healed. It still gets puffy. And I am experimenting tonight with my selfie stick. All right, so I am experimenting tonight with my selfie stick. Oops, I accidentally turned the camera off, <laughs> so now I'm back. I have some laundry I'm supposed to be folding, although it's pretty late at night now. Fixing my bangs. And now I'm going to experiment with the Awesome. So Brian came home the other day with it for me so that I could use it for my video vlogs. So the kids post videos all the time. So yeah, look at that. Oh, so easy, so much easier on my arms. I'm not like holding my arms out the whole time. Yeah, look at that. Very cool. So now, if I could get my laundry folded. <laughs> oh, laundry folding, it's the bane of my existence. I have some clothes at the bottom that's all, that are already folded, but they're not folded the Marie Kondo way, so now I have to refold them. And they've just been sitting in there because I'm just always busy and I'm not a big fan of household chores to begin with. I don't know why. So today I did yoga and we recognized a pattern. So Fridays I can get a little foggy and then Saturdays I sort of calm down a little more and get a little depressed and then Sundays is my depression day or my um, very emotional day, I guess you could say, and it's all the chemicals in my body I'm messing, all the drugs in my body, they, this, and the steroids, and they just mess with your nervous system, they mess with your everything, chemicals, everything, so it's not you, they keep saying, but it's hard to deal with because I don't like being like that, it's like mental breakdowns basically you could cry at the top of a hat and Sunday is the worst day with that so we've been noticing that as a pattern so and tomorrow I start my first support group so I go and I meet with a therapist and then they like talk to you about I don't know what <laughs> I guess I'll find out and then, um, and then, I guess you have to like, that's like the first step, and then you, they'll guide you in the direction of like a support group for you. So it's called We Spark, and it's in Studio City. And then there's, there are a couple more that I'm gonna, you know, try out too. But they all require some type of like interview, or actually one, there's one on Tuesday that you can just show up to that Brian found for me. Tuesdays and Thursdays. So I'll do this one Tuesday. Tomorrow is Tuesday. So I'll do this interview at 3 o'clock tomorrow with the therapist for the We Spark. And then Thursday, maybe I'll just show up to the other support group to see how I like them. I don't know if I'm going to like the support groups or not. I did call a vet today. And she was very helpful too. And just kind of supportive. I called her yesterday and I started crying because I was just a mess of emotions. And I didn't even know I was like... 
I even said to Brian, I was like, I can't stand to be around you right now. Don't take that personally because I love you and you're great. <laughs> and that was on Sunday. So that's how I get. Yeah. So. Well, that's when my things look nice like that. So we'll see how tomorrow goes. Oh, and today is April 11th. 2016. Oh, Yvette and I also talked about, and I was thinking this, I may try to get my port out earlier just because my muscles get really swollen and like the lymph nodes in there swell. And now the lymph node that was swollen, they want to test it again. They want to, oh, I feel it again. They, I think it, it had puffed up, but it got bigger. So now they want to do another ultrasound of it. They don't, they're not worried about it. They said, we're just watching it. Um, that Dr. Weissman does not think it's lymphoma, and he doesn't think it's breast cancer. They just think it's a, it's a reactive to the port. So I'm thinking I might want to get that port out of there because I'm tired of worrying about this lymph node, and I'm tired of having, like, achiness in that whole area. Um, apparently the chemo can leak out, kind of, from the port and into the muscle. I'm like, oh my god, that's why it aches all the time after chemo. And if Herceptin's only every three weeks after chemo's over, I could get stuck with a needle in my arm every three weeks. But it's for a year. So maybe I do it for half a year. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm telling you, the port is annoying. But it's also way easier. I know that. So... There I am with my unfolded clothing. Somebody help me. Come fold my clothes for me the Marie Kondo way, please. <laughs>